Time for a little anatomy lesson on a meniscus. You might have heard the term meniscus, you might have heard of a torn meniscus, and you might know someone who torn their meniscus. Now you're going to know a little bit more about that term. Your knee joint is where your meniscus are located. There's two of them, a medial meniscus on the inside of your knee and a lateral meniscus on the outside of your knee. A little bit about the knee joint, it's formed when two bones meet. That's how a joint is formed. This is a femur, a thigh bone. This is a tibia, a shin bone. When these two bones meet, we have the knee joint. Now a little bit about this joint. Your femur, which is your thigh bone again, has two big round condyles on it. So it's kind of like two round balls on the end. While your tibia is more of a flat shelf. When you put a ball that's round on a shelf that's flat, there's not a lot of surface area, not a lot of area that's touching each other. And that can be a problem on a weight-bearing joint. If you have the entire weight of your body being pushed down on top of your tibia with just a little bit of area touching, eventually it's going to cause a problem. You're going to get arthritis because that joint surface is going to start breaking down. So that's what a meniscus does. It's like, uh, meniscus is like two wedges that hold the ball in place. It gives it more surface area, more weight distribution through the joint. It also can act as a shock absorber. Um, and in, in addition to all the ligaments in your knee, you might have heard of an ACL, a PCL, medial collateral ligament. There's a ton of ligaments down here that help stabilize the knee joint. Your meniscus also helps stabilize the knee joint and keeps everything in place. Now, injuries to a meniscus. Um, you've probably heard of a torn meniscus, okay? That's one of the more typical injuries you'll see. Uh, when you're younger, youthful, usually a meniscus is torn from a forceful twisting motion where the knee gets twisted and that condyle is going to grind and twist into your tibia and that's going to cause a meniscus tear. But as we get older, it's just more of a degeneration of the tissue. Um, it starts to, the meniscus starts to weaken and it's all part of the process of the overall condition called osteoarthritis. So um, that's what happens there. But there's a couple of different kinds of tears and uh, I can kind of show you that now. All right, here's a little bit of a closer look of, of, of your knee, of a meniscus. I'm holding a tibia here. On the right side is your medial meniscus. This is a left tibia I'm holding. Medial meniscus on the inside of your knee. Lateral meniscus is on the outside of your knee. Again, these are wedge shaped, so they're going to be thicker on the outside, thinner on the inside. And what that does is it just gives, lets the femur rest down in here and gives more support um, for shock absorb and weight, weight distribution, things like that. Um, but when it comes to an injury, an injury is most often a torn meniscus. And I'm going to use the medial meniscus as an example. I'm going to sandwich this between my knees. I'm going to take a razor knife and I'm going to cut this meniscus like that. And I'm going to spread it open. This is called a bucket handle tear. A bucket handle tear is when the tissue on the inside of the meniscus is attached, the tissue on the outside of the meniscus is attached, but in the middle is a tear and it kind of creates what you might visualize as a bucket handle. You can stick your fingers through there if that was a, um, a handle on a bucket. So that's a bucket handle tear. There's also what's called a flap tear and if I just totally sever that meniscus and I pull the flap out, uh, my Play-Doh's messing up here. Folks, please have patience with me. Um, but this is a flap tear where the tissue has been torn. It's connected on one side, but there's a flap hanging out. Okay, that's a flap tear. And it's up to your orthopedic surgeon to determine whether surgery is appropriate for you. But surgery is quite common and more often than not very, very successful for a, a meniscus tear. Now, when you tear your meniscus, you're going to feel pain. Sometimes it's a local pain. Wow, I can feel it right here on the inside of my knee. And you can actually point at where your joint line is, where that meniscus is. But oftentimes, it's an overall pain in the knee. It just hurts everywhere. Um, but either way, there's usually some swelling. And when there's swelling in the knee, your knee joint feels tight. It doesn't take a lot of uh, fluid, a lot of accumulation of swelling to make the knee joint feel tight. So you'll, you know, you'll feel like, wow, it just feels tight when I'm trying to bend it. And that's, again, because of swelling. Um, sometimes that swelling leads to what people call water on the knee, which is just a fluid accumulation on the knee.
and you might have had uh, have heard of someone draining their knee, having their knee drained, and that's basically removing the excessive fluid on the knee. Um, another thing that could happen with a torn meniscus is your joint locks up, and that's going to be an inability to straighten your knee. And what has happened is a chunk of your meniscus gets torn off and it gets lodged somewhere in your joint to where you can't straighten your knee. It's kind of like if you think of, uh, if you take a pencil and put it in a door hinge and try to close the door, it's not going to close all the way. There's that chunk of pencil stopping the door from closing, just like a chunk of your meniscus in the wrong spot is going to stop your knee from straightening. But anyway, um, it's up to your doctor to determine if surgery is the right way to go with uh, fixing your meniscus. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But either way, you're going to need to go through rehab, which is usually physical therapy, and then you might consider post-rehab. After phys Physical therapy is going to get you on your feet again, get um, some basic muscle strength going on, but you're not going to be able to jump up out of physical therapy and go right back into a normal life, and that's where post-rehab comes in. And a lot of people come here to Sensible Fitness um, for personal training just to get past their injury, get back to 100%, whether it's a torn meniscus, a low back injury, whatever, rotator cuff. Um, but anyway, that's your meniscus. I hope you learned a little bit and give you a little bit more knowledge about your body. And my thought is if you know more about you, you will take better care of yourself. And that is the goal of this TV show and of the Sensible Fitness Personal Training Center. I hope you enjoy the show.